Well, a group called the Mower Gang cuts the grass in Detroit parks free of charge in the summer so kids have a place to play. Well, now during the winter months, they've traded their lawn mowers for snow blowers. One of the members says the snow blowers can clear a walkway and driveway in about five minutes. The Mower Gang also has a special group they look to serve. They're looking for cancer or dialysis patients and those with severe mobility issues. We're just trying to help people who can't help themselves. This isn't because you ran out of milk. This is because a life or death situation has you trapped in your home. Oh, what a great service. Now, when the group goes to do a job, their families usually pitch in since many volunteers around the city don't offer to help. Great wow. thing for them yeah. to do. 525 now still to come on 2 News fighting this bitter cold. The freezing temperatures fighting back against firefighters as they put out a Tulsa house fire. The extremes they faced. And those bitterly cold temperatures sticking around here, but other states also seeing plenty of snow. We'll take you around the country to see what they're dealing with this morning. And right now, 2 News reporter Joe Hankey driving the streets of Tulsa, checking on road conditions out there. We'll check back in with him to see the, how the roads are doing. When you make your way to work this morning, you're watching 2 News Works for you today at 526. With wind chills in excess of 40 below, plus thousands still without power, how they're dealing with this frigid weather. And Tulsa firefighters battle an overnight house fire in this frigid weather. What they found when they went inside the home. You're waking up to what's new on this Monday, January 6th. 2 News Works for you starts right now. Good Monday morning. I'm Dina Silk. And I'm Justin Wilf on the time now, 6 o'clock. Welcome back. Thank you. It's good to be back on this very cold day. Gosh. <laughs> back uh, just in time to talk about plenty of cold air and a lot of school closings as well. Yes, exactly. The kiddos should be happy. Their Christmas vacation just got a little bit longer. Free freezing temperatures canceled school for Tulsa, Jinx, Owasa Union, Tahlequah, Muskogee, lots of other schools on the list as well. All of them listed at KJRH.com and uh, we'll scroll through them at the bottom of your screen throughout the newscast. Now let's send it over to our team of meteorologists, George Flickinger and Tab Price. It is cold out there, George. <laughs> Safe to say shivering blue man too. A winter has a very firm grip on parts of the north and northeastern U.S. this morning. In Baltimore, wind chills could drop to negative 25 degrees today. It's so cold. They haven't seen cold like that in 20 years. Megan Knight with our Scripps station there shows us how the morning commute is shaping up. Now a snow day for most kids across green country today and the deep freeze is nearly nationwide. Yeah, it is. This is some video from Missouri where drivers are battling slick roads and freezing temps at this hour. Two News with continuing team coverage all morning long. And a snowball fight started by the click of a button. How social media played its part to start a day of snow fun in Indianapolis. You're watching Two News Works for You today at 622. Developing overnight, a plane and its passengers land at the wrong airport. It is the second time in as many months an accident like this has happened. Two News anchor Brianne Palmerini joins us now to tell us why there are more questions than answers. Well, Dina, the well, right now, scientists are trying to determine the long-term effects of that massive BP oil spill that wreaked havoc in the Gulf. It has been nearly four years since 200 million gallons of oil poured into the ocean. Now, eventually, the leak was plugged, but there was quite a mess behind, and experts say it's still there. When you have oil of the magnitude that we had from the Deepwater Horizon spill in areas that aren't used to that kind of an oil load or concentration, um, there is a good likelihood that you're going to have some um, lasting effects. Over the past few years, teams have been collecting Gulf water samples near the spill site to see what has been left. And along with it, they've been collecting fish samples. So far, the team has actually found small traces of oil compounds in those samples. The auto industry revving its engine today as the annual American International Auto Show opens for a two-week run. Check it out. This is a live picture from the Kobo Center in Detroit right now where car makers from around the world are ready to show off the next generation of transportation. Jim Kurtzner from our Scripps station in Motor City reports the show opens with some big news today. Happening right now, encouraging news for 300,000 people in West Virginia who still cannot use the water coming from their taps. The good news, a water treatment plant near Charleston is starting to flush the system of contaminants. As Andrew Spencer reports, many could soon have safe water again. Two News works for you. 
Our other big story at this hour, the brutal winter weather gripping much of the country. Take a look at this. This is some of the latest video into our newsroom. This is actually Buffalo, where they're used to seeing conditions like this, but this time it's prolonged. And listen to this number, 80 inches, 80, 80 inches. It's incredible. That's how much snow could be on the ground in an area just outside the city by the time this storm finally ends. We also have fresh video out of Chicago. The view from above. Wow, look at that. It captures it perfectly. The Windy City frozen in place and in Minnesota dramatic video of a car careening off an icy bridge right there. You see the headlights. The driver walked away with just minor injuries, thankfully. Well, back here at home, the winter weather impacting those trying to make it out of green country. Two News anchor Brianne Palmerini is live at the Greyhound station and Brianne, you say uh, some passengers have been waiting quite a while for a ride.